Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your August 2022 general reading. This is for the first half of August from the 1st through the 15th and it is for the earth sign of Capricorn. Welcome everyone. Thanks for taking the time to be here. Thanks for hitting that like, share and subscribe button and for those of you who send feedback and comments and reach out for personal readings. Always welcome. Thank you. So Capricorn, this is for you for the first half of August 2022. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Capricorn, if you're cross-watching for a Capricorn, it's still relevant. Uh, watch all of your signs if you know them, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, because it's a general reading, so of course it'll resonate a little differently. And watching your other signs uh, can bring in a little additional insight and perspective into what's going on in your particular situation. And if you find that something does resonate with you enough that you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, maybe take a deeper look at something, for yourself or as a gift for someone else, feel free to email me directly, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to hear from you and I can usually respond the same day with more information. I do offer quite a wide variety of readings. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link. I do readings full time, it's all that I do, so I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling as well. So if it's something you're interested in, message me. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what the first half of August looks like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. Wow. We begin with wish fulfillment and abundance here with the Nine of Cups. Getting everything that you want. Your cups overflowing with abundance in some sense, or that's your focus. <clears throat> with the Devil, obsessions, toxic, negative, unhealthy cycles might be addiction issues for some of you you or somebody close to you feels like it might be overcoming that or breakthroughs here next we have the eight of cups leaving walking away turning your back on something which has proven to be unfulfilling which is interesting because the eight of cups precedes the nine of cups right you're turning your back on whatever this is. You may have thought it was going to be your wish fulfillment at the beginning, but you've discovered that it isn't. So you're walking away in order to find your sense of abundance, your wish fulfillment. With the Eight of Coins, work, nose to the grindstone. Next to the devil, it might be... I mean, the devil and the Eight of Coins is... I mean, the Eight of Coins, the devil is obsessive energy anyway. It's too much too much attention, too much focus in one area, whether it's classic addictions like drugs, alcohol, gambling, sex, work, shopping, uh, mental health issues, negative toxic relationships. It's, it's, it's too much energy in one area. The Eight of Coins is also, it, it's the work card, nose to the grindstone. So it can be, you know, kind of maybe getting a clue here and breaking through some kind of negative toxic cycle or walking away from that. Um, the level of effort that you've put into it. It might be you yourself personally, or it might be somebody close to you. Next, we have the world. Beautiful graduation. Uh, the last major arcana card in the tarot. The first major arcana card is the fool. He has the zero on his card, and all the cards after the tarot are about the fool's journey. The fool is us. Different aspects of life until learning, growing, changing, and evolving until we get to the end of the world. We've successfully climbed one mountain. We've graduated. We're moving on to the next level. And then the journey starts again with a different landscape, different opportunities, and different lessons. So the world is a card of completion and moving on. With the nine of coins, independence, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, confidence, somebody who's worked hard to get to this place and is now enjoying the fruits of their labors. They're enjoying, they're reaping the benefits of the work they've put into something. It looks like whether, again, it's a classic addiction or not, it depends on what this devil card represents for you. Something that you poured an awful lot of attention into, um, but there's a breakthrough here. There's an overcoming and a finally being able to walk away in a way that means you've, you've leveled up, you've grown, you've graduated, you're moving on. So from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Hermit, which makes sense because the Hermit is a pretty spiritual, highly intelligent card too. What do Hermits do? Hermits, monks, monastics, they retreat, whether temporarily or for a longer period of time, in order to seek out wisdom, guidance, they contemplate, they think things, and they use that wisdom and experience and knowledge in order to guide themselves forward. 
Um, it's a highly intelligent. This is somebody who's quite evolved because they've learned through their life path and their life lessons. And it looks like you have here. It looks like here Capricorn successfully overcoming some kind of negative, toxic, obsessive cycle here. Uh, breaking through, uh, again, it might, might be you yourself breaking through a specific issue that's been for you, or just walking away from an ex external situation, relationship, job even. Be it looks like you've maybe reframed or put into different perspectives, something kind of, there was a wake-up call of some kind, which is what a breakthrough is, right? A wake-up call of some kind where you were like, I see this for what it really is. I've been telling myself that devil card energy enslaves and entraps through you know something that is tempting that we tell ourselves we need right you can see this couple is inside this lovely golden gilded cage and they're trapped there but the door is open they could leave anytime they wanted to but they don't because they tell themselves they need it that is the nature of unhealthy obsession and unhealthy addiction you tell yourself oh it's what i need it's everything that i want but in fact it chains you right I don't mean change, I mean chains as in chain, right? Well, let's clarify the overall energy of the hermit. Ace of Wands, exciting new beginnings, which makes sense because here we're We've got that world in the nine of coins. You're you're ending something, a major transition, a major journey, and you're moving on into exciting new beginnings. But the fact that it clarifies the hermit means that you're taking all your lessons, all your knowledge, all your experience with you moving forward. It's a beautiful, powerful reading. It's kind of like Phoenix rising from the ashes energy. <clears throat> Clarify the nine of cups. It was probably difficult, though. Breaking negative toxic cycles typically is. Nine of Cups. Clarified by the Chariot. Success on a difficult, challenging, very challenging journey. This is a card of success, but it's success that comes through sheer perseverance, determination, willpower, stubbornness. Yeah, you got run over nine times, but you got up that tenth time and staggered on, and that's when you win. So yeah, success on a difficult journey. Success in overcoming and breaking through. Let's clarify the devil card. <clears throat> the Ace of Swords. This is your aha moment. So aces represent the number one, the start of something new, a new opportunity. Swords is governed by the element of air, which governs everything that goes on up in our head, intellectual atmosphere, right? Ideas, insight, information, ideologies, our belief systems and perspectives, because that drives everything that we do. So this is getting a major wake up call to whatever this devil card represents, seeing it for what it really is. That's also a card of success that comes through insight and fresh pers perspective, seeing something in the reality, seeing something for the reality of what it is. Now, when you see something for the reality of what it is, it might not be pleasant, right? You might not like what it is. But the reason this is a potential success card is because that insight, that perspective, in that moment, you can go, I don't like this. So you know what? I have in that energetic space you have the ability to go okay I'm going to make new choices and take new paths and make decisions so I can create a healthier and better reality for myself again it's major breakthroughs I love it clarify the eight of cups leaving walking away <clears throat> the sun Light, love, warmth, laughter, illumination, clarity, the pressures uplifting. Beautiful energy. The sun is a very powerful, influential card too. Just like when the, when the real sun comes out in the world, it shines on everything. It affects everything. It banishes shadows. It illuminates and makes everybody feel better. So too in a tarot spread, when the sun comes out, it has a positive effect on all of the cards and it can lessen and sometimes negate any challenging energy that's showing up so yeah you're walking into the sunlight literally clarify eight of coins work nose to the grindstone 
<clears throat> the two of swords stuck reluctant resistant to look at a truth that's right in front of you so yeah this is what you're leaving though this is what you're walking away from that devil card energy you're leaving behind whatever that toxic negative cycle is you're seeing it for what it is you're breaking through and you're moving on from it previously you were like stuck you didn't want to look at it because once you look at the reality of what something is then you feel the pressure to make choices and decisions so the two of swords is kind of like being stuck but it's more like the head stuck in the sand card so you're leaving that behind clarify i'm loving this reading for you capricorn it's powerful clarify the world and the nine of coins moving on self-sufficient confident <clears throat> oh my goodness the world is clarified by the world we have the world twice here wow you're not going back this is major completion major stepping up the queen of coins there you are taurus virgo capricorn in your own beautiful energy the nine of cups again wish fulfillment getting everything you want feeling like your cups are overflowing with abundance page of swords the learning card the gathering information and learning card you've learned you've learned a great deal and just like anybody who's had to break through any kind of negative, toxic cycles, relationships, patterns, behaviors, thought processes, it's a difficult path. Um, but you learn, you gain, you learn so much, you gain, you grow. And you take all of that moving forward with you. It's worth it. Beautiful Capricorn. Well, I'm going to end with some final, any final messages, guidance, advice. <laughs> the Three of Cups just fell right out. Celebration, kindred spirits, having a good time. <clears throat> any final messages from Spirit for Capricorn for the first half of August? <clears throat> Eight of Wands, the Eight of Fire action moving forward aggressively messages communication travel this is things moving forward in a beautiful powerful way ace of coins new beginnings exciting new beginnings practical new beginnings could be moving relocating new jobs new projects new a uh, little bit of new money and the hermit again taking all the lessons and the experience with you because we don't want to forget what we've learned because we don't want to make the same mistakes again the hermit doesn't do that you're moving forward with all the lessons the knowledge the experience that you have gained beautiful reading all right capricorn i'm going to leave it there i hope you enjoyed your messages for the first half of august i hope they were helpful and useful or gave you some hope and some food for thought Again, if any of this resonates with you enough that you'd like to maybe peel it back a bit, take a deeper look for yourself or as a gift for someone else, personal readings make great gifts for people. Feel free to email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that info by clicking the description link below. I will see you all <clears throat> in a couple of weeks for the August mid-month readings. Until then, stay safe and well, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.